I have this plan which I'll never fulfill. From a family man. Lots of noises. Airplanes and trains. And must respect the sensitive conscience of those who love and care about me. However, if I were alone in life and received my physician's forecast of pending death and were to have this counsel reaffirmed or affirmed by a qualified another, then I'd make provision for a last and final journey into the wild. The desert, of course, to find my end in the wastes, alone and without succor, to face down indifference in its own awful light, stark and devoid, pale and blinding, cold and incapable of care. Shut up! <laughs> I wonder how I could handle such a last adventure. Could my mind bear with peace such a truth, even as the light and caring of my own being flickers and fades into the dark, cold void? It's not a funny passage, but <laughs> it would be pretty funny, though, if I came out here like that, you know, to, to let for a final adventure, and just as the light is flickering out amidst the great indifference, the, the cold, dark the void of eternity about to unfold, and me to find nothing beyond, and then to, you know, have me reminded of all that with a train whistle and the jet going overhead. Have fun in Vegas! Wait, wrong way, that's Vegas. Okay. You get the point. That would be um, principle of complete oblivion. <laughs>